In this video, I'm going to show you another tool that is commonly used when you're doing any type of automotive install like car alarms, car stereos, uh, fog lights, and that is a multimeter. And here I have a Fluke 87, but any type of um, multimeter would be good enough for your automotive install. Now a lot of people out there who don't do a lot of installs, they might have a test light. Test light will work if you're mainly testing only 12 volt, okay? But a multimeter will do a lot more for your automotive install where the test light will only test for 12 volt, okay? Now, you gotta be careful with the test light because test light is basically a light bulb that has two leads and it tests for 12 volt, okay? Now, the problem with the test light is that it doesn't give you enough isolation. And in today's automotive electronics, you gotta be very careful where you're connecting one wire to the other wire, okay? You don't wanna cause any short and fry something in your vehicle. So that's why you want to use a proper multimeter, okay, where it'll give you uh, uh, the proper type of isolation when you're testing wires, okay. Now, one thing I want to show you today is very, very basic how to find ground. Now, you might think, well, you know, the whole chassis on a vehicle is ground. For the most part, yes. But you got to realize that in any vehicle these days, there's a lot of body parts that is spot welded. They weld, they tack weld a couple of welds on a piece of metal to the rest of the body. And because they do that, it doesn't give you a very good ground. And with, by just looking at a vehicle, you can't tell. Okay, that's why you want to have a multimeter. Here I have set this uh, multimeter to read the uh, impedance here. Okay, and as you can see, if I was to put the two leads together, okay, it will show me that it's a short, okay. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see on the video, but basically what I would do is have the ground lead, put it onto the negative of the battery, and then I can put this lead, the positive lead, on this piece of metal, okay? And that will show me whether it's a proper ground or not. Now, if you don't see a direct short when you're doing this impedance measurement, then that piece of metal, you should stay away from as ground, okay? Especially when you're doing car install where you want to have a proper ground and you don't want to have a ground loop, okay? Now, the, besides using this type of uh, probe, Okay, I have another type that I use a lot for car installs. And this is another piece of equipment that a Fluke makes. Okay, and the cool thing about this is that when you have a bundle of wire, wire harness in a vehicle, a lot of times you want to say this is one of the wires in, a, uh, in the wire harness, you want to do a measurement. Okay, and how do you get to this wire? Okay. Is all insulated. Well, this one has a pin at the tip of this, okay, and you just basically place the wire over here and it pinches that wire and it has a little metal piercing needle inside and basically it will pierce that insulator and it'll give you a measurement, okay. Now, of course, when you're doing this, your negative lead on a multimeter should be on a ground, proper ground, okay, and that'll give you a reference from the ground what voltage you're getting. So this is a really good tool. Um, you can look online and some hardware stores, some electronic stores especially uh, will have something like this. So but I just want to show you these are some of the common tools that you want to use for doing any type of automotive install. Okay?